Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to make a table for evaluating a limit. The product we're going to use is Desmos, and in Desmos they call these tables function tables. So let me show you the limit that we're going to evaluate. If you look at our guided examples, you see this example that says if h of x equals x divided by x minus 1, evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of h of x. And the approach we use was to create a table like this. What I want to do is show you how you can create this table quickly inside of Desmos. So the first thing we'll need to do is be at desmos.com, that's D-E-S-M-O-S dot com and you want to press the Start Graphing button. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the Add Item box and I'm going to select Table. Now my formula has X's in it, so the first thing I'll do is go over and in the first column type in X and now below this I'm going to type in each and one of the numbers I want in my table followed by Enter. So I'm going to start with .9, Enter, 0.99, enter, 0.999, enter, 1.001, enter, 1.01, enter, and 1.1. So these are the values that I want to evaluate that formula at. You can see I'm getting closer and closer to 1 in the middle from the left hand side, so numbers that are smaller, and from the right hand side, numbers that are bigger. Now I'll go up to the second column, erase what's there, and now I'm going to type in my formula, which was x. I can hit the division button down here, or I could use the slash on my keyboard, x minus 1. Instantly you see that it's gone ahead and filled out the table, and I can see as I get closer and closer to 1 from the left, I'm getting bigger and bigger negative numbers, so that limit, the left-hand limit, would approach negative infinity. As I get closer and closer to 1 from the right-hand side, down here, I can see that my numbers get bigger and bigger, but positive. So that limit, the limit as x approaches 1 from the right, would be positive infinity. So this is a quick way for generating these things. If you want, if you have a formula that has different variables in it, no problem. You can go ahead and use different letters up here. Just make sure that the letter that you use for the input here matches the letter on the other side.